next we're going to learn about SAP production planning tables now what are the tables in SAP so even if you talk about it's a PP module is SD module or MM module or any other module all the data that we create in SAP that is stored in ABAP tables so you can call it ABAP tables or you can call it SAP tables same thing so whether you're creating a master data for example you're creating a, a material master or you're creating a, a, a work center or you're creating a you're creating a vendor you're creating a customer so all the master data and all the transaction data for example you're creating a transaction for example you're creating a goods receipt you're creating a production order or or any other document you're creating they are even in the other modules for example you're creating a purchase order you're creating a sales order you're creating an invoice you're creating a delivery so all the master data all the transaction data and the customizing data whether you're maintaining any customizing all the data or any type of data that you create in SAP that will be stored in SAP tables now in this class today we'll learn about the basics of uh, the tables that are used for uh, SAP PP module now there are millions of tables if you think about all the tables in SAP there will be more more than millions of tables in SAP and we do not need to memorize them okay we just need to have understanding here about how the tables are storing the data and what's the purpose and the purpose basically it's uh, is um, uh, you can say like whenever an abapper will create a new report for example so they they will fetch the data from the tables so all the reports that are written all the transactions that are created in SAP even the standard transaction that we use they all get the data from SAP tables and store the data back into the tables so let us start uh, with the first slide here so we'll talk, discuss about the material master data first so the tables that are used for the material master so material master uh, is like again material master has so many tables it's not like all the material master that we're creating in mm01 or mm02 they will be stored in one table so depending on on what type of data that you're creating it will be stored into that table for example if you look here mara table mara so mara table is used for the for the basic data so all the basic data that you create you know the basic the the initial screen where you can go through different tabs so basic data one basic data two so any data that you maintain in the in the basic tabs that will be stored in mara table for example if you want to see this let me show you this one so transaction code is se16 so transaction code is se16 if you want to see the table go to se16 and here enter the table mar mara run it and here enter the material number that you want to see the detail for example if I enter ABC 123 material and say execute here it's showing me that that's a material code that's a client that we're using that's created on this date created by this person last change and so much data like material type material group that we're using and other stuff so that's the basic data so same way we have other tables for example MAKT if you look at this table MAKT, MAKT data is the description of the material. So if I open MAKT table, if I go back here, I change the table name to MAKT, enter and say enter here material ABC123. So here it will show you the description maintained for this material. So here the description is maintained in different languages. So it may happen that you not uh, you maintaining other languages as well not only English but if you see the English which is E that's a description here so same way they are so that's how the tables are storing the data then MARM table MARM table is for the um, unit of measure now what is unit of measure we maintain the unit of measure for the material for example if I open one more tab here if I open one ABC one two three material here, enter, enter, and enter. So here you can go to additional tab data, unit of measure tab. You go here, and here you can maintain different unit of measure. For example, I can maintain that okay, the basic unit of measure is PC, but we can say that okay one, uh, sorry four, 
कार्टन लेट मी पिक अप मटेरियल या से और पैलेट्स आई कैन से पैलेट्स सो और यू कैन से वन पैलेट इक्वल टू से ट्वेंटी फॉर एग्जांपल ट्वेंटी पीसेस सो लाइक वन इट ऑफ मेजर और यू कैन से वन कार्टन इज इक्वल टू से सिक्स pieces so in one carton we can fix six pieces so you can maintain any unit of measure if i save it this data will be stored in marm table so if i close this if i open here table marm press enter and open abc 1 2 3 material here execute that so here you can see whatever like i maintained the carton i maintained the pallet and all the whatever data is maintained there so there are three entries it is showing you three entries here so you can see 1 2 20 1 to 6 that we just maintained so that's so this table is is maintaining the storing the all the data for the unit of measure so some other data for example um, mark table mark table it will be using the plant specific data plant so plant data that we maintain in in tabs mrp1 mrp2 mrp3 mrp4 and all these data they are plant specific data so they can be different for different plants for the same material so these data is stored in the mark table you can have a look mbew is a table for where the costing and accounting related data is stored mard table is for um where the uh, storage location data is stored mvke is where the sales area data is stored so these are the important tables used in in material master <clears throat> so that's how the system is storing the data and system is maintaining a link between all the tables now what do, what do i mean by link for example all the materials are connected with a key now what is a key for example if you if i show you say if you look at here say mara table and mark table so what is the common between them this is the basic data basic and this is the plant specific data so what so system will be maintaining a, a a common key between them so key in this these two are the material number so material number here will be same material number here will be same same goes for mkt same goes for mbke so material number here will be same material number here will be same however when you talk about the mark and mard here there will be two keys one is material number and other one will be your plant the plant will be same so there here we have two keys not not one we have two keys so that's how the system storing all the data so next we'll talk how to find sap table all right so let's have a look so to finding sap table so open the transaction where you want to find it enter 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 for example uh, if i put the uh, put the cursor on this base unit of measure so i want to see where this data is stored press f1 on this one f1 help and when it opens f1 help click on this little spanner icon if i click on it it will tell me it is stored in mara table see that is a mara table and that is a field name field name is means m e i n s so here we calling it base unit of measure however sap the the table stored the table has the name as means so table will understand it as means we understand understand it as the base unit of measure so mara is a table means is a field name so for example if i open the mara table again sc16 mara table and here if i open abc 1 2 3 material execute that so here somewhere you can see st base unit of measure is showing you st not pc because it's converting try to convert it to german language but base unit of base unit is, base unit is a description here if you want to see the technical name of base unit go to setting user parameter so instead of label you want to see the name the technical name say so say okay so now it's showing you means c m e i n s means so it will or everything it will show on the top will be as a field name the technical abap name so if i go to user parameter again go to labels now it will show the description based in it so same way if i if i jump to say mrp 
one tab here if i say where mrp type where this is stored press f1 click on the icon is saying mark table and there's a field name so that's how you can find the table name now sometimes what happens is when you click on a field it will give you the structure name instead of the table name it happens sometimes for example uh, i'm not sure which field is that but let me try first um say this field let me try this f1 yes that's a good example see when i put the cursor here on the on the material number here so abc123 it should be stored in the mara table but here it's showing me table name is rmmg1 so rmmg1 is basically a structure i know with my experience but you will learn later on for example you will think that okay this is rmmg1 you will go to the sc16 and try to enter here the table name as rmmg1 enter say there's error at the bottom error is saying this is a structure not a table so sometimes it will not show you now these are the technical things more for a websites but for you i'm saying is if you do not find a sap table then the best is to google it google has all the tables data so you do not need to remember do not need to do not need any document so everything is there on google if you google for you know the uh, tables for sap material master it will give you everything so that's how you can search for it so that's how you can uh, you can um, search for a table so now to practice you can try to search for go to the work center uh, work center transaction cr02 try to find a table for that try to find the table for transaction as well for example bomb try to find a table for bomb for routing and all that like even if you want to for transaction like production order planned orders so that's you can find it so that's the overview of the tables and uh, here i have written some important tables in sap pp module as i said there are millions of table you do not need to remember all of them even you do not need to remember any of them basically you will learn with your experience when you get a job and um, but uh, here are some important tables that i have written down uh, that are used in the pp module so for demand management repetitive manufacturing reservation um, planned orders mrp data mrp records uh, classification and all that so discrete manufacturing so so that's all about um, uh, tables so thank you very much to watch this video